Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Luke, this is Luke Warm Reviews. I've got something I'm very excited about today. This is gonna be a beginner's guide to Safubi. I've wanted to make this video for a while, I just haven't been sure exactly how to do it or what to say. I've got some notes here on my laptop in front of me, just because there's so much that I wanna make sure I get out. I make, uh, wanna make sure I don't forget anything. So if you see me glancing down here, that's what I'm doing. So uh, this is mostly just gonna be a resource for new people, I think. This is just something that I wish I had when I was getting into the hobby, you know, because it can be really, really hard uh, to find info about. It can be a little bit impenetrable from the outside because the scene is very underground and also there's a lot of language barriers. Um, but veterans, please watch this as well, you know? Let me know if I make any mistakes. And then also, you know, maybe you'll learn something that you didn't know uh, as well. So let's start out with uh, you'll get different answers from different people when you ask them that question, but I think at its core, I mean, Sifubi, literally, it is a Japanese word that translates to soft vinyl. So a lot of purists define Sifubi as soft vinyl that's made in Japan. I think about it a little more broadly just because there's quality soft vinyl that's made everywhere. For example, Draculaser uh, uses Chinese soft vinyl. I've mentioned that before. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. But I like to be able to get all the stuff that I like kind of under one umbrella. So I just refer to soft vinyl as Sifubi, even though there's Korean soft vinyl, there's Chinese soft vinyl. You will meet some people who are purists and only like the Japanese stuff, and that's fine. The Japanese stuff is always very high quality. It's a very old tradition, but yeah, to each their own. It's a very intense and time consuming process. So what happens is you get a sculpture. You make a mold, typically out of clay. Uh, you make a cast of that. You cast it in wax, I think, and then you make a mold out of it in metal. I'm not super familiar with the molding process, but then once you have your metal mold, um, you pour the hot liquid vinyl in, you put it in a centrifuge, and it's spun around super, super fast, which makes, uh, it forces all of the liquid vinyl into all the cracks and tiny details in the sculpt. Then, it's taken out of the centrifuge, the whole metal mold is dipped into a kind of chemical bath that hardens up the exterior vinyl. The liquid vinyl that's still in the center, the excess is poured out. The pieces are then pulled out of the mold individually and assembled while they're still warm. Because vinyl, while it's hot, is very malleable. And that's why soft vinyl figures are typically assembled with no glue um, just kind of like puzzle pieces inside of one another. That's also why you can, if you have a hair dryer or whatever, and you heat up your soft vinyl figures, you can reassemble them and take the heads off and the legs and the arms and put them on different uh, figures. Also, this is a process, by the way, called slush molding. Let me know if I messed any of that up. I think that's basically it, though. Because of this process and because of the material itself, Soft vinyl is a very strong material. Uh, it's not as easily broken, cracked, shattered as uh, hard plastics and even your typical vinyl, like your Funko Pop figures and your Kid Robot stuff, your everyday vinyl, it cracks and breaks a lot easier than your soft vinyl. It still will break, obviously, if you put your back into it, but, and it also is very uh, flawless because of the way that it's made, all of the tiny details in the sculpture can shine through. So, if you've seen my videos and if you've seen other people's stuff and you like soft vinyl and you're like, there's a lot of it out there. So what you want to do right away is find out what you like. There's two main schools of soft vinyl. There's the vintage stuff and the new stuff. I almost exclusively am into the new things, so that's pretty much what I'll be talking about. But there's a really, really old tradition going back to the 70s and the 60s. I know like some names like uh, Marmot and M1, uh, Bullmark, Bear Model, but I don't know a lot about those. If you love those, that's great. And I wish you the best. <laughs> no, I like the old stuff too. I, I hope to get some of it someday, I just haven't thus far. Um, 
The way that I figured out the stuff that I liked was literally by going to the DesignerCon website, which is the biggest soft final convention in North America, if not the entire world. And I just went down the exhibitor list and looked up all of them. You're gonna to wanna to look them up on Instagram. Instagram is the primary uh, way that artists and um, distributors and stuff uh, talk about soft final and sell and do lotteries, things like that. Um, and you're gonna to wanna to kind of figure out what your style is. Just to rapid fire some names at you and some kind of general uh, genres of Safubi. If you like classic stuff that looks kind of retro, you want Planet X, Gargamel, Real Head, Max Toy. If you like the more grotesque stuff, which is very trendy and popular right now, you want Retro Band, Violence Toy, Izu Monster, Draculaser. If you like uh, cute things, you want to check out Konatsuya, Comet Debris, Uamu, um, Super 7 has some cute Safubi. If you like irreverent, kind of funny things, you want to check out Punk Drunkers, absolutely, Gokoto, uh, Splurt, Sun Guts. Uh, and if you like just new, creative, kind of badass creations and monsters and characters, Paul Kaiju, Mutant Vinyl Hardcore, Brant Peters, Red Hot Style, Instinct Toys, Skull Toys. This is one of my favorite kind of subgenres and one of the most uh, broad ones. There's a lot out there. So once you have figured out your favorites, then just dive in. You know, go on Instagram, follow the hashtags, follow the suggested uh, accounts, and just see it all, you know. You want to check out Video Vomit, Ultra Radical Toy Works, and Toy Pizza on uh, YouTube. All three of these channels make content about all sorts of different types of toys, but all three of them have really quality content about Safubi. Go follow all of them, tell them lukewarm reviews sent you. Also check out the Marsham Toy Hour podcast. Uh, this is a really great podcast about designer toys specifically, and they have some excellent episodes about Safubi. Um, also, there's an internet forum called Skullbrain that is specifically for Safubi. I don't have an account on it. I've looked at it once or twice. It's been around for a while, since like 2006 or 2007, but unfortunately, it looks like the design and interface hasn't changed since 2006 or 2007. I've also heard about flipper problems on Skullbrain. Let me know if you guys have a Skullbrain account and you think it's great. I personally don't, but go check it out. See, maybe it's for you. I'll talk about flippers more in my next uh, episode. I know I just kind of glazed over that, but I'm going to make another video coming up about the market and about kind of how to buy Safubi, where to find it. And that sort of leads me into my last thing just to leave you guys with. If you want to get into the hobby, just take it slow. You know, just take your time. Safubi is a slow hobby because of how much love and care is put into every single piece. Every single one of these is handmade individually and, and goes through so many different hands through the process of its creation. And that's what makes it so high quality. That's what makes the collection such an adventure. That's what gives every piece such distinct character and beauty. And that's what we love about the hobby. I don't want to speak for anybody else. I guess that's what I love about the hobby. Um, so take your time. Get what you like, don't buy from flippers. Also, don't be jealous of other people's collections. Uh, it all comes in time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope uh, you learned something. Subscribe for more. Like I said, there will be more Safubi stuff coming down the wire soon. Um, share this with your friends. You're the best, guys. Uh, you're the reason I'm doing this. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon. Ha ha ha, bye.